Hi guys, welcome to weekly vlog number two. Um, today is Monday the 13th of February. Um, I was supposed to be in uni this morning. If you watched uh, last week's vlog then you'll see that I was supposed to be in uni this morning but I was really tired yesterday and I should have rested more than I did and I ended up feeling really horrible all night. I had a horrible night's sleep and felt so ill this morning and my alarm didn't go off so I didn't end up going into uni. Um, it's not the worst thing because my lectures are online so it's not so bad I can catch up. But I'm feeling a little bit better now and if I stay in the house all day I won't sleep again tonight. But I don't want to do too much that I make myself really ill because I should have rested yesterday and my chronic fatigue is like rearing its head. So I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to quickly nip into Durham and get my hair dye which I was planning on doing today. Um, getting the bleach so I can dye it. I think I'm just going to dye pink. Um, so I'm going to go into Durham and get some bleach. Matthew's going to come with me and we're going to nip to the tip and the post office and a charity shop on the way there and get rid of everything that I cleared out of my wardrobe last week. Um, and then we're just going to go into Durham. Um, I've got a, another place that I want to look at while I'm there because I think I mentioned last week that I'm maybe starting my own Disney company so I need to go into another shop to see if there's something available there. And Matthew's got a couple of things he wants to do as well because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow so... I'm going to take you into Durham with us. I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. Um, this is all the clothes that still needs to go to, onto Depop. Although, to be honest, I'm tempted just to take it to charity with me today because I did put a few things onto Depop last week and nothing's sold. Like, nothing's even really had that many views. So, I feel like, can I really be bothered to go the effort to put everything else on Depop? I don't know whether to just give all of this to charity. I think I'm gonna, you know, just get rid of it. I just wanna kind of get on with tidying my house. So I think I'm just gonna give it all to charity. But anyway, I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. My skin's really bad today because obviously I slept really bad so my makeup's a bit bleh. But um, I found this top in Primark for three pound. I forgot that it slits up the side, which I'm not really too keen on when I'm not really feeling great about my weight at the minute. Um, but it's not too bad, I suppose. But uh, yeah, this was meant to be £8, and I had been eyeing it up since it first came out. I just forgot that it split on the side. Yeah, it's gone down to £3 in the Primark sale, so I'm just wearing that with leggings, and uh, yeah, I'm going to nip into Durham now. surprisingly really tired considering we were only out for an hour which is exactly why I said I only wanted to be out for an hour I'll hopefully definitely sleep a lot better tonight um I think we were more out like two hours we got I think we went out about one and we were back maybe um, just after three so I had a little bit of time once I got in to just sit for a second Matthew's gone out now because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow and he's got a couple of things he wants to do because we always make each other our presents we just find it more meaningful rather than just buying things like I hate it when people put all over Facebook like 
oh my boyfriend got me an iPad for Valentine's and it's like that's not very like that doesn't really say I love you unless like there's an inside joke that I'm missing which you know I don't know me and Matthew always make each other our presents and we think it's about spending time together and like making each other dinner or going for a meal and just that sort of thing it just it's just more romantic that way um so he's gone out because he has to get a few things for tomorrow um so I have just started uploading my weekly vlog it's half four and I started uploading it at four and uh, because I want it to go up at six I'm going to try and do that every week um I left this video to save like I edited my weekly vlog yesterday because I thought I was going to be uni this morning and I knew by the time I got in and then saved it and then uploaded it it would be like 10 11 o'clock at night so it's a good thing that I did save it um last night because I have found out why my videos take so long to save if it's a massive video that's like 50 minutes long but it's only in two recordings it's not that bad but over vlogmas it was getting really slow and yesterday it was really slow and I've realized the more clips I have in the footage the longer it takes to save and last night in my weekly vlog there was 51 different clips all put together over the week and it took from seven o'clock last night till about half ten this morning to save so it's a good thing that I did it last night so it's ready to go um it's 25 to 5 so I've just quickly done the thumbnail I think I've like come up with a thumbnail that I want to try and stick to every week I'm quite happy with it um it's quite like cute and pink um I'll show you it in a second although if you've clicked on my weekly vlogs you'll already know what it looks like um but yeah I got a couple of things in Durham um I managed to get my bleach um I've decided I'm just going to do my hair pink because if I don't get all of the green out of my hair then putting grey on top of it makes it more green which is why it is so green because I put grey on top of blue so that's why that's happened and it was a green based blue um sorry a green based grey so I managed to get my bleach I got a couple of things from Holland and Barrett um, I got a couple of things for my giveaway from Poundland, which were, uh, there was some things that I went in for that weren't there, but I found something else that's actually really pretty and really similar, so I'll show you that in a second. We went and had um, dinner at a vegan calf, which we like to go to like every now and then. Like We don't go to Durham very often, but if we do go to Durham, we do go there now for our lunch because it's vegan, so that's really good for us. And then I need to get a move on and make Matthew's present because I think... I <sighs> I've been a bit unorganised this year to be honest, like I've been so busy with uni and just trying to organise the house and things but I have bought some things so I think I'm going to make them cupcakes this year and I've got some dairy free fudge to put in the cupcakes, I don't know what that's going to taste like but I have like thought about it and I've already got his card and I've got a card off the rabbit for him as well so I've got a couple of things for him so I need to hurry up and get this uploaded and put the like the thumbnail on and everything and then I need to make the cupcakes because he's probably only going to be out like another hour so if I get on and do it now I'll have them finished before he gets back. I don't know what he's got planned for tomorrow because it's a surprise he doesn't normally tell me he always plans Valentine's Day and considering I was really tired yesterday and didn't rest enough so I had a bad night's sleep and then I've been out today and I'm knackered like I am so tired right now I just kind of want to crash on the sofa for the rest of the night. I'm going to quickly make his um cupcakes and then I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. I might even chill upstairs in bed because I don't know what he's making me but I, he, he might want to be down here. So um if that happens after I've made his cupcakes I'm going to bed. <laughs> so I don't think I'll vlog tomorrow because Valentine's is kind of like a personal thing. Um, So I don't think I'll vlog. I might vlog a little bit. But I probably won't vlog the day. It's just personal. Like, you know, I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, so I might just get back to you on Wednesday. Um, but we'll see. We'll just see what happens tomorrow. I just thought I'd quickly show you one of the things I've made for Matthew for Valentine's. Um, I'm not the world's best chef by any means. But these are brownie vegan muffins with toffee surprise centres and pink icing on top. And this is how I'm going to give them them. So just thought I'd show you because I'm very proud and he's going to be home any minute so I need to hide them. I've finished making all of Matthew's presents. I literally brought his cupcakes upstairs and then um, tidied up the kitchen so that he couldn't see what I'd made and he walked in the front door. So that was really close. Um, he could obviously smell that I'd baked something but I think he knew I was making something anyway um, so I'm not really bothered because he hasn't seen it and there's only so much you can hide from each other. Like it's you know, we always make each other things, so 
I'm not really too fussed that he knows I've baked him something. I was going to get straight in the bath and have a bit of a chill but dinner will be ready in five minutes. So I've come upstairs because Matthew's making the dinner and then he's going to do my presents. Um, or whatever he has to do, I don't really know. I know I said I'd show you what I bought in Durham today but everything's downstairs and I'm really, really tired. And I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. But like I said yesterday, I should have chilled and I wanted to chill more today and I feel like I've just been busy again so I am going to chill for the rest of the night now. I think it's just after 7 o'clock or coming up 7 o'clock. It's probably just after 7. So I'm going to have a bath after my dinner and I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night and then um, I'll show you what I bought in Durham probably on Wednesday. But yeah, I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night now so I'm going to take my makeup off and everything, have my tea and then have a bath so I'll catch up with you guys, if not tomorrow because all I know is that we're going out for the day. And obviously it's Valentine's, so uh, if I don't catch up with you tomorrow, I'll catch up with you on Wednesday. So, ta-ta for now. Morning, guys. It is Wednesday the 15th of February. Um, like I said, I didn't record yesterday because it was Valentine's Day and I just kind of wanted to spend the day with Matthew and, you know, it's kind of a bit personal. It's not something that I want put all over the internet. I'm sure you just couldn't understand that. Um, but we actually had a really nice day, he made me breakfast in bed, he really liked his cupcakes, he had like four cupcakes yesterday. Um, he made me some handmade dark chocolate hearts and they were mint fondant filled inside as well. I have no idea how he made them but they were bloody amazing and very tasty. So um, yeah we just kind of exchanged the presents that we'd made each other and then we went out for the day and it was really nice, we went to the beach. Um, I don't know, I guess I could have took my camera but... I don't know, it was nice having the day, not having to think about it and just spending some time with Matthew, so I hope that's okay. Um, but today I'm a little bit annoyed because I'm having to go into uni, which I wasn't expecting. I did have loads of things I wanted to do today, but I've moved my schedule around so that I'm not worried that there should have been something that I was doing today. I've fitted it in for the rest of the week. Honestly, I love that little schedule thing from Primark. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it was on last week's vlog. Um, I use it to like schedule my week. It just means that when I go to uni it literally takes up my whole day and even if it doesn't, like I've got the morning now but if I do anything now I'll knock it in on time um, and I'll be tired and like if I go in on the morning it means I'm like dying all afternoon because of my chronic fatigue. Like if I go to uni like it's a whole day thing, it's not like a few hours. Anyway I'm, I'm trying to hurry up because I'm, I'm I kind of wanted to leave like five minutes ago but I've done my makeup I just need I'm still in my uh, Toy Story 90 so, and I haven't done my hair so I need to hurry up and get into uni I don't feel as energetic as last week um I feel a little bit more ill and stressed uh I mean yesterday was lovely with Matthew but I was out all day I was busy on Monday I was out and Sunday I didn't chill like I should have when I started feeling funny so Chronic fatigue, man. It's a pain in the butt. So my hair is literally see which green. It's green. Like it's full on green now. Um, it's basically just atomic turquoise faded, and I managed to get the roots to match. Um, but I am gonna be bleaching it tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going pink, like cotton candy, like bright pink. So anyway, I best go because I'm gonna be late. So well, as you can see, I'm back home. Quite annoyed. <laughs> I'm only supposed to be in like two days a week and then I expected to be on Friday this term for dissertation. They told us last night, 10 o'clock last night I checked my emails, that we had to be in today. So there was only meant to be two of us in this morning and obviously I was 20 minutes late. So I was probably panicking and getting myself all stressed and I was like how am I going to explain to her that I've been sat waiting for a car park space. So then I get there at 20 past 1 up in the lab, get all my lab coat and glasses on, there's nobody there. I searched all the rooms in that lab and there was nobody there. So I got my phone out, which you're not meant to do in a lab, but I didn't know what else to do. And I checked and I had an email from her at about 11 o'clock. And she had, she'd emailed it like, I think it might have been about half 11, saying, oh yeah, you don't have to come in now. So of course I was already on my bloody way and got there, it stood in the lab, got the email saying you don't have to come in, come in tomorrow instead. Are you kidding me? Like. Oh, you can't do that. Like, not everybody lives next door to the uni and rolls out of bed. Not everybody checks the uni emails every five minutes. She just confirmed with me last night that I had to be in at 10 o'clock at night, so it really annoyed me. She gave me the work 
to do today that I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow in the lab so that I don't have to go in tomorrow. The charity shop is open till four o'clock in town and that's another thing I want to do. I did manage to go to the tip yesterday before me and Matthew went out for the day so now I just need to go to the charity shop because not all of the charity shop and tip stuff would fit in my car. There was that much cleared out of my wardrobe. It's insane. So I'm going to quickly try and put everything that I want to take to the charity shop in my car. I hope I can get parked outside of it because I can't carry the stuff around and if you're right outside they do normally come and help you like carry it out into the shop. So I've got about a couple of trips to make up and down the stairs now, put everything in the car. I'm going to try and get to the cherry shop before four. Even though I was only at uni a couple hours, like it proper takes it out of me like walking around like, oh, I'm so stressed. I'm not having a good week this week, like I knew I should have rested at the weekend more and got myself mentally prepared. But anyway. I'm going to be calm, I'm going to go to the charity shop and get, get that ticked off so that we don't have to worry about that anymore. And then I'm going to catch up with you guys in a bit and carry on with other things on my list to do. I don't think it's coming across as very much but there's five bags that size under here. And then like all of these like hanging clothes. I don't know, there must be at least a hundred like pieces of clothes hanging. Five black bags, a photo, three canvases and that clock. It's all going to charity. Well, I'm so out of breath. It's just took me like 10 minutes to get all this downstairs. So I've got half an hour to get in the car and get around to the charity shop. Woo! The seats are down. My back seats are down. This is literally all the stuff. Like right up to the front seats that are going to charity. I need to hurry up. Just drove all the way down to the charity shop. And it's closed on Wednesdays. It didn't say that online. It said online it was closed after four o'clock, open every day, 10 till four. So I was so angry. Like, why is this week just being horrible to me? I'm trying to give to charity. Like, look how much stuff I'm giving to charity. I don't know whether to go around to one of the other charity shops around there. But the problem with the charity shops around there is that you can't pull your car. Like, I am literally outside the charity shop right now. So, like, literally, that's the charity shop there. Like, I'm looking at it. So if I pull around to one of the other ones, I'm guessing they'll be closed as well. And if they're not closed, it's going to be a, such a faff on to carry the stuff round to the shop. Because the car park is not next to the other charity shops. It's like a high street and you have to walk round to it. So I'm going to try and go around to one of the other ones just because I've come this far it seems a shame to go back and have to come back tomorrow. I can't believe what just happened. There's one charity, like, uh, I'm so out of breath. I've just walked around the whole of my little town centre looking for a charity shop. Um, they're all closed apart from one. Mary Curie or whatever it's called, cancer one. Oh my god she was so rude. I went in and I was like I have a lot of bags to give to charity and she just looked me up and down and she, she was just sat on a stool like clearly not interested and she was like well what is it and I was like well it's nice clothes and handbags and shoes and she was like electricals and I was like no like clothes and shoes and bags and she was like well you can bring it in and I was like she just wasn't interested, she was just looking everywhere but me, like go away sort of thing, like I think the clothes soon and it was just like, um, okay. And she was like, I don't know how you're going to bring it in though, because we don't have a back door. And she clearly, she was just like playing with my nails and I was like, um, okay. Like when I took about nine bags to charity, to the one I tried to go to, they were so grateful and they came out and they helped us get things to the like from the car to the shop and they were really like nice about it and just lovely and this woman was just like what do you want me to do and it was just like um okay and she was like just bring them round if you want and I was like well are you gonna help me like are you gonna help me and she was just like you can get a trolley from somewhere and that might help you and I was just like where do I get a trolley from like why am I getting a trolley and I was like she was like you'll have to have a pound though for the trolley and I was like oh I've got no change and she just looked at us and she was like and I was like you have a till right there like did you really think I'd come in to steal a pound like just give me a pound I'll get a trolley and I'll come in with the stuff and she just kept staring at me and I was like okay I guess I'll go and try and get a trolley or someone to help me but it's like a ghost town because I didn't realize basically this is an old kind of town um, so on Wednesdays it means that it's it's none of the shops are open, it's like an old tradition like from yonder year 
Um, and I totally forgot that it was Wednesday and nothing was open. But that one was open and she wasn't interested. Um, I couldn't get a trolley anywhere. She, to be honest, as soon as I walked out, I was like, you don't deserve the stuff. You're, hor like, you're a horrible lady. Like, How dare you treat me that way when I've come in with a load of bags and nice things to give to charity? And you're not even... Honestly, she's really upset me. She was so rude. She just... It was like my stuff wasn't good enough. She like looked us up and down like, well, what is it? And it was like, well, clothes and bags and shoes. So I'm sorry, but I'm not like, I went around the whole of the town trying to see if I could get a trolley or somebody to help me. But at the same time, I was like, I don't want to give my stuff to like to, to them. Like she was rude. So I'm just going to leave the stuff in the car overnight. Make sure that it's all like locked up properly and things. And I'm going to come back tomorrow to the one that I wanted to go to who are lovely and appreciate my stuff. And just give my stuff to them tomorrow. I, oh my god, like why am I having such a bad week? Like why is everyone being horrible to me? Like testing my patience. I've just wasted so much petrol and not to mention energy walking around this place. Like I thought it would be a quick thing. Like in and out. Somebody would help me. She was so rude. Like I'm really surprised. Like why is she in a charity shop? Why is my voice getting so high? Oh god, it's one of those. I need to go home and chill. Okay, so I've just got in. Um, I'm so angry about that. So angry. Oh, I need to stop thinking about it. Like, it's stressing me. Like, she should not work in a charity shop. What a horrible lady. I'm going to show you some things that I bought when I was in Durham on Monday for my giveaway. So last year, um, Pound Lad did some of these types of bags. So that Bell one, a Sitting Beauty one and a Cinderella one. They did have a Frozen one as well. Um, and I got the Bell, the Cinderella and the Sleeping Beauty for my giveaway. I didn't keep any for myself because I have so many tote bags. Um, so I got them for my giveaway. So I went in again to get these ones again. These are Poundland. I wanted the... Probably the Ariel, Jasmine and Alice ones. Uh, I didn't go into my local one. I went into a one that... I'd like hardly ever go in but it's close to me but I prefer the other one because I know they would have had these so I went into a different one and they had like other versions of them which I haven't seen online yet so these are for my giveaway and um, these are like not totally like recyclable sorry reusable bags so I got a jasmine one so these are pound and they're just a pound so I got jasmine I got bambi and I got alice um, they're so pretty. Like, I'm really chuffed with them. This was the last Alice one. The woman, like, bent them when she packaged them away from me, which annoyed me. So hopefully they'll flatten out. But yeah, I got them three. And I also got this as well for my giveaway. Um, I just thought it was quite a decent, uh, patterned, like, little bath sponge. Like, they don't look deformed or anything. Like, some of the cheap stuff. So yeah, I got them. I did, like I say, originally went in to get the, like, we, um, they're kind of like tote bags, but this is all the hard. But I actually really like them. So I'm having a bit of a bad week. You know, things just keep happening. But I've just been on Instagram and somebody's just posted this, which is so sweet. They've put, um, Woman Crush Wednesday goes to my favourite Disney YouTubers. She loves watching us and she's a YouTube addict. So if you are, check them out. And there is... The amazing Disney Collector X, Grace. I absolutely love her. Um, me and her are quite good friends, actually. We were supposed to go to Disney last year. And I think we're going to go in the middle of the year together. So definitely check her out. She's amazing and she's lovely. She's, so she's just such a nice girl. Um, Ellie Stedman, my God. If you don't know who Ellie... What's going on? Ah! If you don't know who Ellie Stedman is, then where have you been? <laughs> Seriously, like, she is Disney queen. Ellie Stedman. Why won't it click on Ellie Stedman? There we go, Ellie Stedman. If you love Disney uh, vlogs and just general Disney, check out Ellie's channel. She's amazing. It's nice when people actually comment on the fact that they like watching my YouTube videos um, and go to effort to make something like this. I mean, that's me. It just brightens my day, so that's really made my day. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm sorry I didn't finish the vlog up last night. Uh, when I go to uni, just because of my chronic fatigue, I get so, like, dying tired when I get in. So I didn't end up finishing up the vlog. Me and Matthew had a nice night though. We kind of chilled on the sofa, um, we played battleships, we watched some in-betweeners, we had dinner, and then I had a bath and had an early night. So, well actually, I say I had an early night. It probably wasn't that early, but I went straight to bed after the bath. Matthew had an early night because he didn't have a bath. I had a bath and he went to bed. So uh, I was in the bath for a while. You know when you just end up being in the bath for so long? It was because I, I seen that, um, the first clip of Beauty and the Beast movie has been released of the live action and I was faffing on with that on my phone for ages in the bath. My breakfast's ready, woohoo. 
I'm getting a sofa. It's not a new sofa, but it's pretty much new. Basically, my mum has a couple of sofas in her house and she doesn't want one of them anymore. Um, so I'm having it because I want a smaller sofa. It's not the colour I want, but I'm going to make a cover for it. But it's the exact shape that I want and it also comes out into a double bed because we don't have a double bed or a bed for when people stop over because that spare room is basically like my YouTube room. So the bloggies are coming with the van. We're bringing my new sofa from my mum's and taking my old sofa away to charity. So they're coming in a couple of hours so I have so much I need to do today I can't even explain and now I kind of need to organise downstairs before they come so that they can bring the sofa in. So I'm going to have my breakfast and I'm going to start organising downstairs. And excuse the mess but I have no makeup on and I just thought I'd catch up with you because I've got a lot to do today. Okay, if I sound out of breath it's because oh, I'm trying to tidy up and organised before the guys get here with the new sofa. And the rabbit is having so much fun, bless him. He's proper enjoying, like he loves it when it's tidy. He loves to like run round, he's, where is he? There he is. What are you doing? He loves the wood floor, he loves to like skid on it. He doesn't like to lie on it, but he likes to play on it, bless him. Anyway, I've put the rug away, I've put all of his toys over there. I've put everything off the sofa kind of over there and I've broke this up into two pieces. There is another piece as well which is in the garage and um, we we'll moved that before Christmas. Um, so they're going to take these two pieces away, the garage piece away and bring in my new sofa. So I've kind of like organised so that it can just bring it in and out really easily. But I'm not putting the new sofa over here, I'm completely reorganising the sitting room. I just completely want to reorganise the house. And it's going over here. So I don't know if I'm going to try and do that on my own once it gets here or if I'm going to wait for Matthew to come in because I'm pretty crappy today actually. I'm a bit worried about how crappy I feel. I'm just trying to stay positive and get this done because I can't wait to get my new sofa so hopefully this should be here soon. It's now five to two and the sofa people still aren't here and I've like completely finished like organising down here like I've cleaned all the benches and like there's still loads of things that I want to go through and there's loads of things I want to change like I'm trying to like redecorate like I hate the purple colour scheme I want to change it. When we moved in I got everything purple because I thought like it's not pink because I didn't want to be like pushing pink on Matthew, see how everything's like purple. And um, I didn't want red because a lot of people have red and I didn't like, I don't really like green and I didn't want blue because I thought it was cold. So now I want to redo everything pastel. So uh, this, I hate this as well, like it was like given to us um, as like a star rug but we've been in like nearly four years now and I still feel like I need to decorate. But anyway, I've got everything nice and tidy. Um, there's still stuff like I want to organise, like everything's getting changed around in the bookcase and I want new curtains. I got a new clock. Um, I hate that. I want to get rid of that. I don't like that light. So there's some pastel starting. So I just want to change everything but um, yeah I'm still waiting for the sofa guys and it's five to two and I need to go to the charity shop before four o'clock so they need to hurry up. <laughs> Yay my new sofa came. I'm so happy. Basically, our sofa before, you could easily fit 10 people on it. It was like all the way around here. So we took out the corner piece just before Christmas and it was all the way down here. And there's only me and Matthew and they burn in the house. So it was just ridiculously too big. So we decided to get rid of it. The charity shop has just come and took it away and they picked this one up from me mum's for me and brought it for me. So that was really nice of them. Um, I also give them like a hoover because we've got a new hoover as well. I wanted to give them my rug as well because I want a new rug but I might not get one for a little while and he needs a rug for his feet. Like wood floors are not very good for rabbits so I didn't want to be without a rug completely, bless him, because it's not fair on him. So I'll have to keep the rug until I get a new one. But um, basically I just wanted a two, three person sofa. Um, this one's also a double bed, it folds out and it has like storage and like I like to have my feet up so I'm really happy that this is like exactly what I wanted. Um, I wouldn't have picked this colour but I'm going to make a cover for it that I can like take off and wash. I'm going to like pick a fabric and make cushion covers and stuff so I'm really excited but it's the exact shape that I wanted and plus it was free because it was from my mum. So I'm really happy that uh, we've got this in now. So I just need to start like organising down here. But now it's quarter past three, charity shop closes at four o'clock. I need to get to the charity shop now. Uh, 
I've just got back and look at him just chilling there on the sofa. On the sofa, on the floor. He's so cute. He's so well behaved. So I've just been sat for the rest of the night kind of trying to sort myself out to do some things that needed doing. Um, I've managed to put up my what I got for my birthday Disney haul. So if you haven't seen that, when this goes up, it'll have gone up a couple of days before that. So check that out. And now I'm just doing some university work because I have to be in uni at half nine. So I have to leave at the house about quarter to seven, possibly seven since it's a Friday. It's normally a bit quiet on Friday. So I'm just watching some Disneyland vlogs and chilling. Uh, Matthew's gone out to get some food at the shop. So as soon as I've done this, I'm going to just be going to bed after me tea. Um, I'm knackered and I'm a bit stressed because my uni works hard and I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm going to get on with this and I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Friday the 17th of February. Um, it is currently quarter to 12. I have already been into uni, um, I was in at half nine so I left the house. On a Friday I can leave the house a little bit later because the traffic for some reason is nowhere near as bad on a Friday and normally on a Friday I get parked closer to the uni as well um, so I'm literally like right in the city like centre campus right now. Um, like the building I was in is like just like not even a two minute walk that way. So that was really handy so it also means that I am more likely to go into town and go shopping because normally I park in a car park it's like 10 minutes in that direction at least and then Disney store particularly is like the other side of the shopping centre so if I walk to the Disney store or even into Primark it's like a 30 minute walk back to the car whereas today if I go to Disney store it's only maybe like a 15 minute walk back to here so it's like half the difference um so the thing is, is that I want to meet my sister after she's finished work. She works in the same town as well. And she doesn't finish till 5 o'clock though. And it's not even 12 o'clock. So if I go and get some lunch and do a little bit of shopping and chill for a little bit, it's still going to be a couple of hours before she's finished work. And because of my chronic fatigue, I will be so tired by the time that she actually is finished that I'll be too tired to do anything. Plus I'm going to have to buy me lunch and me tea out if I stay out all day. So I want to go to Primark because there's a few things that I want. Plus Matthew just messaged me, bless him, and he was like, oh, if you're waiting for Amy for a long time, like I'll send you some money and you can treat yourself. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get to Primark with me money and treat myself. So um, yes, that was nice of Matthew. So I think I'm going to go to Primark. The problem is as well with me being vegan, there's only so many places I can eat. Um, there is a spud you like where I can just get like a jack of potato and beans, not far from Disney store. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to commit to it and walk all the way around. So I think I'm going to go to Primark. Then I'm going to, like I don't want to go to spud you like. I want to go somewhere where I can eat and have a cup of tea and chill for a couple of hours, like a Costa. But Costa doesn't do vegan food, um, which is really annoying. So... That guy just gave me the funniest look for videoing myself. <laughs> but, um, so I don't know where I'm going to go and eat. I think I'm going to go to Primark. Then I'm going to walk around to the Disney store. I will try. I'm sorry, I keep swapping hands as well, but this camera's really heavy. I will try and video myself in Disney store. Um, but every time I video in most stores, I get asked to stop that you're not allowed to take pictures, especially Primark. I've been asked quite a few times. You're not allowed to take pictures. You're not allowed to film. So I'll try and film when I'm in Disney store, but I end up doing it really like inconspicuously and hanging the camera around my neck and just kind of pretending that I'm not filming. So it's not very interesting. So to people who are asking me to film the Disney store without me like speeding it up in my vlog and putting music over it, it's because otherwise it would just be hanging around my neck and be really boring because I just don't think I'm allowed to film. I might actually ask one time when I actually get up the courage and to be like, Am I allowed to film in here? And if they say yes, then I know from now on I'm allowed. But if they say no, then I know from now on I'm not. So I thought I would just quickly check online to see if there was anywhere vegan nearby. I mean, it is a city centre, so I thought I'd have a look. And there's about six vegan calves. Like, why did I not know about these? And one of them, oh, one of them does afternoon tea. Vegan afternoon tea. My prayers have been answered. I'm going there right now. Like, I don't know if I'll have the afternoon tea on my own, but I'm going to go because they have, like, vegan cakes and sandwiches and tea, and apparently it's a really nice place to sit. So I'm going to go to Primark. Then I think I'll go and get food, and it's not far from the Disney store, so then I'll go to the Disney store. Um, 
and then I might try and get to Metro Centre before the traffic and then just meet Amy at Metro Centre and just have like a few hours at Metro before she gets there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to go and do. Let's go and find this awesome vegan calf. Off we go into town. It's such a nice day. It's not even that cold. Can't decide on this top or this top. On the both. I don't know how in shot I am but I'm too tired to hold the camera so I've just kind of put it there I hope you can hear me um, it's now two minutes to three look at this mark on my arm I don't even know how to show you that can you see that mark there Ugh, on my arm of carrying the biggest Primark bag in all the world so I went to Primark and oh, I should have gone to Primark last it's the biggest bag you've ever seen because and I have loads of stuff for a Primark haul anyway that's enough for a big one on its own so do I do a massive Primark haul or do I do a two-part Primark haul because I can't save it till next month because I'll probably go again next month so I've just bought so much stuff but a lot of it was for if you watched last week I've mentioned that I'm trying to start my own Disney business so I've, I've bought quite a lot of stuff to be able to do that so I went there then I walked out to the vegan calf. It was lovely, but it was further than I thought. It was going to be a bit of a trek for me anyway. Like, that's quite far for me to walk in one go. Especially when it's not the first place I've been to. Like, I have been to uni and other places. The bag, the Primark bag, made it so much... Oh, it was so bad. And then when I got there, they didn't take cards. So I had to go all the way back to a cash machine, which took, like, another five minutes that way. And then five minutes back. And it was really nice. And the place was really nice. And they do, like vegan afternoon tea like vegan cheese vegan yogurt like it was so nice but um because i was on my own i didn't really feel like i could sit and chill for like quite a while so i wasn't there very long so i went into pound stretcher and there was so much disney stuff in pound stretcher it was unreal i only got two things because i worried that some some things might be a little bit too childish for some people like in my giveaway um, I bought things for my giveaway basically and then I went around to Disney store I tried my best to try and let you see like around the Disney store it was very quiet the one and there was three of them the cast members I felt like they were lovely but I, they, were, they were watching me like obviously just seeing if I needed help so I didn't feel comfortable just being like hey with the camera so I tried to film a little bit um 
So, and I've just walked back. I'm absolutely dying. I'm so tired and I've still got to go meet my sister. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you two of the things that I picked up in Disney Store. Uh, I've put everything else in the boot, but I wanted to show you these. So I got this lounge fly purse for my giveaway. This is going to be second prize, main prize. So look at that. And it was... 12.49? What? That's so annoying. It said 7.49 on the other one. Right, okay. I paid a lot more for that than I thought. That's quite annoying. I th if I'm not walking all the way back around there, but it said £7.50 on the tag and I've just paid £12.50. So I was wondering why it was so much when you think through the till, but it was only like... Oh man, I won't be back at that store now until like next week and they'll be gone. Naughty camera. My camera just cut out on me as well, so I'm sorry if the angle's changed. Ugh. Also, it's a really unflattering angle, but I'm tired, so... Ugh. Yeah, but um, that definitely said 7 49 on the tag, so I'm quite annoyed by that, because that's like an extra £5. That could have been the difference of getting the other thing that I'm going to show you again for the third prize. It definitely said 7 49 on it. I mean, it's still a really good price. Oh, I'm not really sure why, but my camera keeps cutting out. It's got full battery. It's got enough memory. Like, it's been acting dodgy the last couple of days, and I'm really worried that it's about to just die on me. Basically, I was just saying that if I'd known that this was 12 49 I might not have got it, but I'm still going to give it in my giveaway because it's nice. I'm going to go into the Metro Centre one with my sister today. She's finishing her work earlier than I thought, so I'm going to go and meet her. Stop it, camera. Um, so I'm going to go and meet her at Metro Centre. Um, I'm going to head around there now. There shouldn't be too much traffic because it is a Friday. Um, I'm going to take this in with me, and, I, and if they're in there in the 12.49, then I'll say I've just bought this, but it was definitely meant to be 7.50. Basically, I got this, which was £4, or 4.49. I have a bracelet from the same company, Disney Junior, and I absolutely love it. It's in my Disney haul August last year, and I also wore it to Disneyland in my vlogs, and like you can see uh, Cinderella's Susie, the little mouse, is like checking it out when I meet her, um, like on my wrist. So, they've had a frozen one since, and another one, but I didn't really like them as much. But this is a necklace, and it's like Minnie's head, and it's a locket with a bow. And it was only 4 49 and they don't tarnish, or go horrible, or turn like your wrist green, even though it's not silver. So I thought, I'm definitely going to get one of them for myself. So that's it there. So I'm really happy about that, like I want to put it on now. I just opened this, um, and I totally didn't even realise what was inside. Like, hang on, focus. There we go. So I opened it. I just wanted to quickly show you. It's like a magnet. It doesn't have a clasp, which I like. And then look what's inside, if I can get it to open. Ugh. Look what's inside. How cute is that? That is so cute. I love it so much. I'm so glad I got it. Just got into Metro Centre. 20 to 4 now. <laughs> Imagine having that in your sitting room. God, that looks real, doesn't it? That's so pretty.
we went into Disney store. I think that's the only store we really went into. I had a quick look in HMV for something, but I couldn't see it. Um, I'm really chuffed though because they're lovely in that. Dis I mean, all Disney cast members are lovely, but they managed to sort it out for us. The purse was meant to be seven forty nine, so they um, discounted it down from the twelve forty nine that they charged me and they put my Disney Life on. So it was literally half the price that I paid for it at Elden Square. So it's a good thing that I noticed. Mm -hmm. So I'm really chuffed that I managed to get that um, sorted. So now me and my sister are going to go to IKEA and then probably use the range, depending on how tired we are, and then we're going to go for food. So let's go. Is that, can you touch it or is it spinning? Should I touch it? Oh my God, don't touch it if it breaks. There's an alarm. There's an alarm. Uh. <gasps> you broke it. I think it's really really dark so I'm going to be really quick but basically me and Amy have been to quite a few places we've been to Ikea, we've been to the range, uh, we've been around Metro it's now 25 to 9 and my chronic fatigue is going crackers so I'm just going to say goodnight now really quickly because I need to get home and just die like oh I'm going straight to bed I feel so ill I think I'm going to be quite ill tomorrow so <sighs> I'll catch up with you guys in the, in the morning but I've had a really good night I'm just oh I'm so tired morning guys Oh, I look a mess. <laughs> um, it is... What day is it? It's Saturday. I think it's the 18th of February. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm still in my jammies. How awesome are these pyjamas, by the way? Um, I think I mentioned yesterday that Matthew sent me some money to treat myself while I was out yesterday. So I've been eyeing these jammies up for a while. And how amazing are they? They've got like little yawning like Mickeys all over the legs. And then the body has like, wake me when it when it's Friday, make, wake me on Friday on it. And it's like neon and I love it. And there's also a nightie in this colour with mini on. So I think I'm going to have to get that one because I've been eyeing that up for a while. But these were £10 in Primark if anybody wonders I got them yesterday. Um, it's just nice to wake up in fresh pyjamas. And if, I don't know how but I managed to have a bath last night after I got in with Amy. Um, yesterday was really cool. Um, I went to Ikea and got a couple of things which I'm going to show you in a bit. I managed to go to Primark and get a load of things like for my business that I want to start and like for me as well and a couple of other things for like my giveaway. Um, what else? I went to the range and I got something really exciting that I want to start doing it downstairs so I've set it up downstairs so I'm going to show you. I've been up a couple of hours. I think it's like 10 o'clock. No, I got up at just about 10 so I had a bit of a lie in. I think I might have had about 11 hours sleep, which is good for me. I don't feel too bad today. I do feel a bit croaky. I really should just chill all day. But when you see what I've bought downstairs, you'll understand why I just want to kind of get on with things. It's like really exciting. So I'm just in the house all day today. I've got quite a few cool things that I want to get on with. Um, I'm not back in uni now till Tuesday. So I've decided to have three days just kind of pleasing myself. Like doing some things that I've bought. Doing some like stuff for my Disney business and I'll show you what I mean um, I've bought some things to start like because I think I've mentioned it I want to like redecorate the house and I'm trying to organize it and stuff so uh, I'm gonna probably do like the spare room and stuff over the next well over these next few days so my camera only has three minutes left of record so I'm gonna try and be quick but I'm basically in the house all day I'll show you what I'm up to yeah, I'm in a good mood I'm in a good mood like I got loads of stuff done yesterday there's some stuff I want to get on with today and yeah, I'm just going to chill and I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I'll just quickly show you a couple of things I got in Ikea yesterday. Um, I have wanted to make my own Beauty and the Beast bell jar. Um, is it a bell jar? It's more like Beast's jar with the rose in for so long. Um, this is the good thing about when you're interested in certain things. Once companies start catching on to it, like band tees were impossible to get when I was younger and now they're in Primark and they're like £4 and it's so much easier to get them and Disney was never in Primark a couple of years ago and our Disney store is not as good as the American ones so but now all the companies over here have caught on so Disney is like so much more available so I've been eyeing up like bell jars in like hobby craft and stuff for like 20 quid and I didn't really want to pay 20 when there's amazing companies on Instagram that you can get them from, from like 30 so they do all the work for you and then just send you it. So I was amazed when I seen this. It's a bit of a smaller one than a bigger one that I was going to do but it's half the price. This was £10. So I think I'm going to do a video um, on making my own one. So I've got like 
the rose. Um, I picked up this box to put in like my giveaway stuff so it's all in one place. Some screws because I've got some more like artwork to hang up and some pastel candles although that green doesn't look very pastel on cam camera but it is because I'm trying to do my downstairs like well I'm trying to do like my whole house pastel so I got those. I got this massive frame in the range um, for my Finding Dory movie poster that you might have seen in my January Disney haul so I'm going to paint that in a bit. Um, my camera only has 30 seconds of space left for recording so I'm going to go and empty my camera and then get back to you. So I thought I'd show you one of the things I'm going to be up to today. I've just had my lunch. Um, I really want to like paint a lot of my furniture because there's nothing wrong with my furniture. I just don't like the colour. So I have a nest of tables which I'm going to paint three different colours. Like I want to do downstairs pretty much the whole house like pastel. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it. Um, and I've been eyeing up this paint for months and it comes in loads of really nice pastel colours. Um, I got the duck egg which is like a pastel blue. I'm also going to get, I think it's violet macaroon which is like a pastel purple. There isn't really a pink that's perfect for a one so I'll have to see about the pink. But they've got a mustard which is, it's quite a pastel yellow without being too pale. Um, Basically there's a lot of colours I want and the good thing about this is the chalky furniture paint. You don't have to sand, you don't have to prime, you don't have to do anything. You can just put it straight onto your furniture. Because like I've always not really done my own furniture because I'll be honest I don't know what to do. But this stuff doesn't need any priming, any sanded, nothing. You just put it on and it's done. out more white I mean next to his thing there you can't see it's not white white um but it's meant to be like it's called duck egg so it's meant to be like pale blue like pastel blue um I don't really think it's coming out very pastely which and it's also really really liquidy and it goes a lot further than I realized if I'd known it was so liquidy and that it wasn't the exact blue that I was wanting like it's very white I probably would have got the small tin um, and just done a couple of items this blue and then got the purple and the pink and the bigger tins because I want to do more with the pink and stuff so I'm annoyed that I paid £12 for such a massive tub that I probably won't use very much because it's not very blue. So the next little thing that I'm going to do now is I have my Finding Dory poster and I'm going to put it in this frame it needs a little trim so I'm going to have to lay it out and trim it. So I've just laid this out on top of the frame. And it is half an inch too big on this side, which isn't a problem. I'm just going to trim this much on this side and the same on this side. And it won't remove any of like the writing or anything. It is, however, about two inches too big, which I knew. Like on this side and at the top there. So I'm going to trim right up to here and then trim as much as I can off the top without taking off the Disney thing. Yay! I managed to trim it perfectly. Um, I obviously didn't want to cut the Disney sign off but the little Pixar copyright got cut off and you can read it. Um, it says in 3D and real 3D um, but I'm not too fussed that it's kind of out of the frame a little bit because the main bit is all still in. It says Finding Dory so that's what I'm happy about. Okay, so I managed to hang it. I'm really happy. Um, the last screw wouldn't go in here, even though I checked if there was a, um, a beam and it just wouldn't go in, so I'm not really too sure why. So it's on four screws instead of five. And then it wouldn't, because there's like four screws, it was really hard to get them into like the little hole brackets that I'd made spaces for. That I'd spent so much time measuring out. So in the end, I've just hang, hung like the edge of the frame on the screws if that makes sense so it's just kind of on four screws like equally thingied out it's just annoying because it's like if I'd known I wasn't be able to get it into the little like specific bracket holes I would have just stuck some screws in a straight line but anyway it's on four and it seems to be straight so I don't really know how it's hanging but it's up and if it falls down I'll have to sort it out but so far it seems to be okay 
he's in a grump with me because I um I had to shut him in his cage while I did the poster because obviously I laid out on the floor and he wanted to stand on it and then he was trying to chew the back of the like the poster like cardboard bit because obviously it's cardboard bless him he loves cardboard so then I shushed him away and then he kept trying to come over here and nudge this because Robert's like to nudge things to see like what they are and say hello and stuff and obviously I don't want his little face getting covered in paint so I had to put him in his cage and he's in a little grumpy. It's quite a bit later now. I sat for an hour and chilled because it really kind of took me it out of me like measuring and hanging up that photo. So then I made dinner um, after I chilled for a bit and then I chilled a little bit after dinner and then I've just give this a second paint. It does look a lot more blue now. I'm gonna have an early night and get on with things tomorrow so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Blanky, should I have today? Oh yes, I have the mini one. Hey guys! Oh my god, I'm such a mess. My hair, but anyway, it's green. It needs dyed. It is Sunday. The what the day comes after yesterday? Maybe the 19th of February. I'm not sure. But um, I am. Basically, I've had my breakfast. I feel really crappy today, like tired. Like, I think painting that thing last night, Jesus. It took so long, that last coat, and it was really hard to work with as well. Like, if you went back over a stroke, it would take off the layer that you'd just put on, and I don't know why, so that was quite annoying. Got up this morning about 10 o'clock. It's now 10 to 1. I came upstairs to start fiddling around with some stuff that I want to do for my own business, and then I kind of ended up... I got everything out of the Primark bag and then I thought, you know what, I've bought a box to start putting in my Disney giveaway stuff in to keep it all in one place. So I started doing that, we're getting stuff out of the Primark bag, and then I went into the other room to get the other stuff for the giveaway and just ended up tidying that room. Um, I'm still doing it, it's going to take a couple of hours. That was on my list of things to do this weekend to be fair. So I, I really should have bleached my hair first because that really needs doing. And then I should have really edited this vlog because Matthew again needs the computer tonight and it needs to save overnight and then I probably should have started doing that room but there's loads of other things I want to do as well like I really want to make my little bell rose jar and I need to record it I need to record me bleaching my hair or I won't have another video this week but uh yeah I've, I've ended up starting to tidy that room and I'm so tired and I really shouldn't because tidying the room like kills me so anyway I'm going to try and tidy that room to an extent where it's tidy and then maybe come back to it during next week and organize it and then I think I'll get on with bleaching my hair then I'll edit the vlog try and get it done before Matthew comes in but I just thought I'd show you because I started organizing that room and I was like oh I should really be like vlogging this so I went and grabbed my camera so let's go in the other room and I'll show you what I'm up to. I've put all the giveaway stuff into this box and I remember thinking as well before I um, put everything in I was like oh I really don't have enough for this giveaway and it's not for another month it's in March's, Feb uh, March's Disney haul and I haven't even done February's Disney haul yet because it's only like what is it like the 19th of February so it'll be like next week uh, like the week after and then I started putting everything in and this isn't even everything and I was like Jesus there's a lot more stuff than I realised for the haul. Like, there's a load underneath as well, and um, it's all like piled. So I was like, maybe I do have enough. So I think I'll lay off on the Disney giveaway buying for a while because I am quite skint, and I keep forgetting how much I've bought. <gasps> Can we just talk about this though for a second? Didn't need it, but Jesus, it's like oh, just look at it. It's perfect. So I had to get that. Also, I got this hat for myself because I just thought it was, I've seen loads of people wearing like pom pom bobbly hats, and I've been thinking to myself for a while, I want one but not in the typical like mustard colours that everybody gets and then I seen a grey one with a neon pink hat which is orange on camera um, I was like yep, yeah, have to have it okay so it's an absolute mess in here um, I'm getting rid of these two shoes basically there's not enough room on here anymore it used to just be my shoes because I was predominantly a fashion blogger and I wasn't really displaying my Disney stuff and obviously I've got more Disney stuff the last few months because 
I don't know, I've just become more and more Disney obsessed, let's not lie. Um, so I've just put this like iridescent button up, which I've had for months, and I keep meaning to put it up. See, the Disney ears are gone now, so I want to change it all around. You can't even see Baymax because I sit here, so I feel like he's kind of wasted, and Jessica, you can't see her either. Um, so I think I'm going to change this one. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of my shoes, but I need to make it more of a... Disney and my shoe display. I mean, I'm going to be getting another bookcase downstairs and some Disney stuff's going to be going on display down there. Like, I'm not going to display shoes downstairs. That's weird. So, I need to pull out some shoes I don't want anymore. So, I'm getting rid of these two. I know that. And then I need to kind of put in more of my Disney stuff so it's displayed nice. I'm about to go through my coat rack though. This is not all of my coats. Like, no joke. There's some under here. Um, uh, there's quite a few in my wardrobe in the other room and honestly there's about 15 downstairs because the coat rack in the downstairs cupboard just fell off the wall because it was that heavy so now I'm going to try and organise what coats to give to charity so I, like I've given nine bags to charity in November was it five the other day and then like two massive piles of clothes like still on the hangers and it looks like I'm going to be going to the charity shop again and I just give my sofa to charity as well like I'm not looking for like oh you're such a good person it's just like I've given away a lot of stuff and I've still got way too much like I have a problem Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, so it's probably been almost an hour since I last recorded because I went downstairs for a cup of tea and to get the coats and then I decided that I kind of wanted some lunch because it was like two o'clock so I had a cup of tea, I sat down and watched a Zoella vlog for half an hour um, maybe it's been more like 45 minutes but anyway so these are the coats that I'm keeping these are the quotes I'm keeping. These are the quotes going to charity. I've just been through the quotes downstairs. So I've chose six to leave downstairs that I grab quite a lot and for it being like winter right now. So six are downstairs in the downstairs cupboard. These are the ones that I've brought up that I'm keeping that are now going to go in here. And there's a couple in my wardrobe that need to go on here. So now I'm going to have to organise the quotes back on here. If there is any more I want to give to charity, although I'm pretty sure I'm keeping all these. Okay, so all these coats are going to charity. I think there's about 16, I can't really tell. Um, I've put a couple of smaller coats, like... Not really coats, like little jackets and a couple of like sleeveless long kind of cardi jackets, I don't even know what you'd call them, in my wardrobe. Like I said, I've left a few downstairs and then these are all the coats I've decided to keep upstairs. You're probably thinking, yeah, that's way too many coats, but I think it looks neat and organised and I honestly can't part with any of them. Like, I've given away 16 coats. Look. So that pink one is such a gorgeous colour. I think I showed it on like at the last bit of that time lapse I'll probably do but I feel like it looks like a dressing gown so I'm gonna have to get rid of it like if I know I won't wear it then there's no point in keeping it every single coat here gets worn I might not wear them a lot but I wear them I'm just going through my shoes now there was two or three pairs of shoes here which I'm now going to give to charity um, I'm going to try and sell these Carvella shoes because my feet shrunk a couple of years ago. Like a lot of my shoes are sixes and sevens. So I was a six in heels and a seven flat and my feet shrunk. So now I'm a five in heels and a six flat. So these are a six in heels. So they're too big. Um, they're gorgeous and they do look really nice on display. Like with these two, that's where they were. But they are Carvella. So I may as well sell them and maybe just try and get like a little bit for them. Like they were £100 at the time. Uh, I've had them a while. I didn't pay 100 I did get them on sale, but still. They're better off going to a home where someone's going to wear them. I mean, they are appreciated. Like, they are gorgeous, but I'm just running out of space. So, I've still got the box. So I'm gonna, Like, they've never been worn. Look at that. What am I like? So, these are going to go on my eBay and on my Depop. So, these are coming out. Um, as fabulous as they look. Uh, yeah, they're just too big. Um, these are actually too big as well. But I refuse to get rid of them until I replace them because they are one of my favourite pairs of shoes. I absolutely love them. So I'm not going to get rid of them because I like them on display until I get them in a 
size 5. I think I'm going to give them silver stone ones to charity. Ooh, I'm not getting rid of them. Oh, how nice are they? My sister made me them. If you want shoes like that, check out her company, Show Shoe Me. They are amazing. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of them. Hell no. Um, these ones were the first pairs of... Oh, well, focus. 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 Oh, come on, focus. These were one of the first pairs of heels I bought when I was younger. I, wore, I walked around London in them, like, that's crazy. Uh, that was a while ago. But uh, they still fit, and the pink, and the lovely. I don't. I know I don't get a lot of wear out of them, but I love them. These ones my boyfriend bought for me for, like, my 18th birthday, or 17th birthday? No, 19th. Oh, I don't know. A while ago, my boyfriend bought me these. This is back when River Island was a little bit more kind of funky unique i mean they still are i still love river island but yeah my boyfriend bought me them uh i think these got sent to me well i love them in the fit so they're staying uh these fit these are fabulous keeping them uh these oh i can't walk in them like they are crazy but i'm not getting rid of them because i love them these ones i'm tempted to get rid of these ones because i would never wear them if i was going to wear nude lace-ups i'd wear them Oh, I might get rid of them, actually. I think I will. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm getting rid of my shoes. <gasps> what am I doing? I mean, they are really nice, but let's be honest. If you're not going to wear them, you're not going to wear them. I mean, yeah, I know I'm keeping them ones, and I'm clearly not going to wear them again. But they're prettier to look at, so these are going to go as well. I think these are going to have to go as well. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this is so painful. Ah! There was a pair here that I've just put in the charity pile. I do wear them over the summer, so I will keep them. They're funky. <gasps> oh, I'm not getting rid of my other shoes. No. Uh, let's have a look. Mm. Oh my god, these were my go-to clubbing heels when I was younger. Oh, I called these my Lady Gaga shoes. It was when Lady Gaga first came out. I wore these to death. I'm not getting rid of them. They're probably a little bit too big now, but no. Too many memories. Too many memories. Okay, so I only have two minutes left of recording. I'll show you what I've done quickly. I've pretty much finished tidying in here now. It's a lot later. I've been on it all day. I had loads I wanted to do today and I didn't even come upstairs to do this room. This room was on my list for this weekend but um, yeah I was supposed to come up and get things to start filling and do my own Disney business and then I ended up needing things out here and this room's needed tidied for a while. So I've just kind of give you a little show round there. Um, I've turned all the fairy lights off now. There's like fairy lights here, there's fairy lights here, there's the two heads, there's fairy lights here, and then there's two fairy lights on here. This is the only thing I haven't tidied yet because I need to organise in the drawer and chuck a load of makeup out and perfume bottles. That's getting organised. Like, I just don't wear any of it, so there's no point in it being there. And then these two sets of drawers need organised, but I have tidied the room. So that needs hung up as well. It's my, um sunglasses picture frame I've, I made it years ago and I've never had anywhere to hang it so anyway I've tidied in here um, I've chucked out so many shoes even out of that um, I need to put the laptop back on here so this is all organised and tidy there's two box kind of slots under there that need organising because now I'm going to start putting papers in there and like the printer and things but anyway this is organised this isn't finished being organised. There's a couple... Why won't this focus? Ugh. Anyway, I'm sorry if it's out of focus, but meh. Um, yeah, so this isn't finished. There's a couple of boxes that need chucked. Uh, there's a thing of nail varnishes back there. The whole thing needs chucked because I think they're all just kind of off. But most of this is organised. This is organised. This is done. Um, up here has been organised a little bit. I like to have things all over the wall of all the brands I've worked with. Um posters, movies I've seen, this was a show I did back at college, um, parks I've visited, so just pictures of me and friends, Kylie Cosmetics, more brands I've worked with, and Disneyland. I did have four Disney 
notebook picture things up there which they've all fell down so I need to stick them back up but anyway it's tidy in here that's that's the point I can work in here I can come in and do things and I can record more videos so it's tidy but I still need to organize these drawers and then bring in the other things from the other room into here and then I can continue with organising downstairs. So it's going to take me a couple of months, guys. But anyway, um, it's quite late. And last time it took my weekly vlog 14 hours to save into a YouTube format. And I still haven't edited it. So I'm going to have a bath because I'm knackered. And then I'm going to sit in bed for probably quite a few hours till quite late. Editing this weekly vlog and saving it overnight. I actually found another memory card. So that's how this is... Um, actually letting me record um it's one out of an old camera um which i don't use a lot and i kind of forgot about and it had a four gigabyte memory card in which isn't very much but it means i get to finish this vlog and it's a backup card so anyway i'm gonna go and have a bath and then i'm gonna spend the rest of the night editing this weekly vlog so i hope you come back and watch me next week i hope you enjoyed this week i'm sorry if it's a really long one i think it's going to be a very long one although some people like long ones i know i do but um yeah, so come back next week and see what else I managed to organise. Tomorrow I'm going to be making the bell jar. Um, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. And then I'm back at uni on Tuesday. It's going to take me a couple of months to get the house organised and decorated the way I want. But we're getting there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye.